Hi, my name's Charlie and I'm your LGBTQ plus officer for the academic year 2020 to 2021. Today, December the 1st, marks World AIDS Day, where millions across the globe unite in the fight against HIV and AIDS related illnesses and to uh, fight for better education and to fight the stigma that those with AIDS and HIV face on a daily basis. Since its discovery in 1984, over 38 million people have died of AIDS and there are estimated 103,000 people in the UK right now that are diagnosed with AIDS. One of the biggest barriers that people face with HIV and AIDS is about the lack of education and the stigma that it provides. And this can be the person itself or the friends and family of the person diagnosed. The stigma and discrimination that people who are diagnosed with HIV and AIDS related illnesses face is only stagnated by the lack of education and the stigma surrounding the illness. Currently in the UK, one in five people don't know that they're HIV positive and 42% of people are diagnosed late. The National AIDS Trust in the UK states that one in five people don't understand or don't know that you can contract AIDS or HIV related illness um, from unprotected sex between a man and a woman. So it's simple enough for me to stand here and state lots of facts and figures, but what is it we can actually do to overcome these barriers? Well, one of the things that we can do is challenge this stigmatising and discriminatory behaviour wherever we see it and whoever it's by. To do this, we need to better educate ourselves and um, a lot of people won't know, but sex and relationships education only came into place and was only made compulsory on the 1st of September 2020, so that's only a few months ago. And the lack of HIV and AIDS related teaching in the curriculum is not satisfactory and LGBTQ plus relationships and the teaching of it, in my opinion, is woeful. Um, research suggests that HIV and AIDS education can reduce risky behaviours such as the loss of virginity in an early age and the number of sexual partners and it also increases the likelihood that people are to use contraception can also do to unite in the fight against HIV and AIDS is to donate to charities in the UK and globally that tirelessly fight to eradicate AIDS and the stigmas that exist surrounding it. If you check out my blog post which will just be with this video at the bottom there is a link to some charities where you can find more information and where you can donate such as worldaidsday.org and the Terence Higgins Trust as well as the United Nations. What World AIDS Day aims to do, as well as this video, is to highlight the issues that those with HIV and AIDS face and to fight and challenge the behaviour, as well as to educate people and unite in the fight against it. So hopefully it's been informative and thank you very much for watching.